Hey guys, it's me. So I'm back with another video showing you guys how I conceal my bald spot. There it is. Ugh. You know what? It takes a lot, a lot to be comfortable in your own skin. As a woman who is experiencing hair loss, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I would say that I just became more comfortable and accepting of my hair loss maybe within the past three years. Um, and two years ago was when I lost more hair, you know, so it took a lot out of me to come to the point where I am now, where I'm sharing my story, where I'm exposing my hair loss. And I think it's important for me to share this because I help so many people who are experiencing hair loss. And the one thing that I preach a lot to my, um, my audience on my social media platform, and then also to my customers who come in to visit me is that the sooner you act the better results you'll get. You don't wanna wait until a year or two after you first notice your hair loss because I can tell you, if you have a scarring type, it can progress really quickly. Scarring types of alopecia are not fully understood. In fact, CCCA is somewhat, it acts almost like cancer because it can go into a remission stage where you're not having any fallout the existing follicles that you do have begin to grow new hair and you might think everything is okay and then the next year you start noticing more hair is beginning to fall out so the sooner that you can go and see someone the better results you'll have and the more likely um you'll ha you'll get results and you'll get results that you are comfortable with so Again, I've been hiding this spot for years. My hair came out maybe, um, it was last year or two years, no, it was two years ago. Um, I was using a Bosley product. They have a um, charcoal scalp scrub. And I can tell you, when I first started using it, it felt amazing on my scalp. I was still using my old product line, which contained minoxidil. Um, and I was using this scalp scrub and it made my scalp feel fresh and clean. And if any of you know, the key to any topical solution being effective is to having a clear, clean scalp prior to using the product. And so I just felt like it was the right thing for my scalp. But two months later, I started to notice as I was pulling my hair back into a ponytail that I was seeing more scalp. You know, I had already worked on regrowing my edges. I had already worked on thickening up areas in my hair that were thin, that still had existing follicles. And I was successful only to lose more hair by using a product that was just sent to me um, by Bosley. Um, so they wanted me to relay to them my results. And once I started noticing that I was losing hair, I contacted them through Instagram because that's how they contacted me, got my information and, and shipped the products to me. So once I contacted them and told them, hey, I'm losing my hair, like, what are you guys going to do? The only response was, was, oh, that can happen. Oh, that might happen. So just imagine you are already dealing with hair loss and you start losing more hair, so much more hair to the point where you cannot cover it. That is devastating. So I'm here to tell you if you are um, a customer of mine or if you are someone who is experiencing hair loss, me as a trichologist, I completely understand. So I approach all of my customers totally different. There is a different level of compassion that I have because I relate to so many of them that come into my, my um, spa or my salon or you know, my office to see me. I've been dealing with people with hair loss for years. I've been a trichologist for the past four years. And part of the reason why I became a trichologist is because I struggle with hair loss. My mom has hair loss. My aunts, cousins, this is something that is experienced um, throughout my family. Not only that, as a hairstylist, um, a now retired hairstylist, I have so many customers mm -hmm. that would come mm -hmm. in to me with this issue and they wanted answers. They wanted to know what can you do for me? And you know what I used to do? I used to give them a quick weave and tell them to take biotin because I did not know better. You know, I have so much more knowledge now and a deeper understanding of what my customers are um, dealing with. I know what type of hair loss they have when they come in and you know what, if I don't, I ask them to allow me a day so that I can do a little bit of research and then I come back with them come back to them for with the answer so i'm never really in a position where 
I don't know what to do for my clients. Even if they have permanent hair loss, I have solutions for people who have permanent hair loss. You have S&P, you have styles like this if you have um, hair loss at the crown. Um, I do think that microlinks are a great option. However, I know that some people are not great with maintenancing the microlink extensions. So it can cause more hair loss. Tape-ins are okay. Really anything that's not gonna cause more tension and more hair loss, I think is okay. Even hair color, some hair color um, is okay for people who have hair loss. So if you are wondering who can you go to, who is the best person to help you with your specific type of hair loss, I highly recommend somebody who is a hair loss expert, a trichologist, um, or somebody who specializes in hair replacement. Because these people are people who are well-trained in that area, and they're gonna give you something that you're comfortable with, something that looks natural, something that you don't really have to maintain at home. And I think that's the best option for anybody, especially if you're not a stylist. See, for me, somebody who has a stylist background, it's easy for me to just do a style like this and just maintenance it myself at home. But it's important for you to not just find somebody who can help you with the style, but who can also help you understand your type of hair loss. So I did that little dance. I was starting to feel, <laughs> feel my hair. But anyway, so I just want to um, encourage anybody that's watching this who is dealing with hair loss to don't feel like you are limited in um, styling options. I say the hair is limited, but the options are plentiful. There are so many options available to you and you just gotta find your person. You gotta find somebody who is willing to help you. Now getting back into the video, I didn't think I really needed to explain how to do the crochet um, style because if you've seen one crochet style, you've seen them all. I chose to twist my hair to put this um, crochet hair in because I don't want any tension on my hair. My hair is already fine on the edges. I lost all my edges before. I'm working on getting them back thicker, especially after losing my hair two years ago and now it's starting to grow back. You can tell that my hair was completely gone because it's much shorter at the top. But I love this style because it just looks like a blowout. You know, um, when I go out, nobody is asking me what kind of hair is that. People just already assume that this is my hair, and that's why I love this style. It's natural looking, it's untamed, and this is really how most, you know, natural people wear their hair. I mean, sometimes you can wear twist outs, but I love to see um, someone with natural hair wear a good blowout, and this is what this is giving. So if you're somebody who are comfortable, I mean, who is comfortable with wearing a natural style, this is definitely a good go-to, especially for the summer, because you want your scalp to breathe. And if you are using um, any topical solution um, to help restore your hair, this is also a great option because you can just take the drops or oil or serum or whatever you're using and just let it run down through your braids or twist or however you decide to add um, the crochet hair. I like to wear this style in a ponytail. So you see that I'm just pulling it up and Oh, excuse me. And this is how I wear it the entire time. I wore it down maybe um, a few days, but the ponytail is, is the best look for me. Um, or even a bun. When I don't have anything in my hair, I just pull my, my um, natural hair up into one ponytail and I clip in some extensions and pull it in the bun. Like that is literally my favorite style because it's so easy and low maintenance. And at this stage in my life, that's all I want. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy my story. I hope you guys enjoy watching me um, put this style together. And I'm definitely going to be back on here with more videos. If you have any suggestions on styles I should try or um, even if you you try this style on your yourself, just get in the comments. Let me know a different way, a different type of hair that I can use. But yeah, this is how I wore it the entire time. Yep. Now, if you're looking at my edges, my edges have been like that forever. My mom pulled my edges right out of my scalp as a kid. And that's something else I wanna talk about at a later date and time. But I just wanted you guys to see how natural that looks. I get delusional sometimes and think that this is my hair.
I'm telling you, because it just looks so natural. I, I really, really love this style. This might be my summer style. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.